Hello and welcome to a new episode of Adobe Creative Cloud TV. My name is Terry White and in this episode we're going to take a look at how to create an Apple web clip icon using Photoshop Generator for your website. So what's a web clip icon or what's an Apple Touch icon? Well, in Safari on iOS devices, whether it's an iPad, iPhone, or iPod Touch, when someone goes to your site and they actually decide to bookmark it, there's an extra option in Safari that lets them add it to their home screen so that they can basically have a one tap like an, like an application to get right back to your site, get right back to whatever page they were looking at. Here, let me show you what it looks like. I'm going to go ahead and bring up the iPhone here. And when we look at the iPhone, as a matter of fact, we have two web clips, which are the last two icons. This one right here for best app site and this one right here for uh, cost to drive. Those are two websites that I bookmarked to my iPhone. Um, and of course, it just gave me a generic, uh, just kind of like a picture of what the web page looks like, which of course the text is so small, you can't read it. It's almost like a waste of time doing that. But you notice on the left of that, there's an actual application called Apartment Guide that has the big AG logo on it. And that's an actual application with an icon that's easy to identify. Of course, it launches that application. But you can give your web clips or your websites that same kind of icon so that people not only see something bigger and nicer, but that it's, it's customized the way you want it to be. And uh, it's very easy to do this. As a matter of fact, you have to make either three or four sizes and we're going to let Photoshop Generator do all the work for us. So here's how it works. Let's go ahead and head back to Photoshop. And in Photoshop, I've got a uh, Photoshop document here and it's set up as a square. It's a square document. And of course, the icon needs to be a square anyway. So all you'd have to do is just go into Photoshop, make a new document, change it to pixels. And uh, once you change it to pixels, your size has to be the same size, you know, height and width, uh, but it has to be 152 or bigger. So it could be a thousand by a thousand. It could be whatever you want it to be, but just bigger than 152 or larger. Now that also means you can take a photograph and crop it to a square. As long as it's a square and as long as it's 152 or larger, you're good to go. Now, once you've created that document and laid it out like I have, I've used layers that make up this uh, document that I want to use as my icon for bestappsite.com. And uh, all I have to do now is two things. One, generator is off by default in Photoshop for the entire program. So you need to go into your Photoshop preferences. There's a category called plugins in the preferences and you'll see generator and you just check the box. Once you check the box, generator and cl click OK. Generator is running in Photoshop from that point on as a plugin. The next thing you need to do is even though it's running in Photoshop, it's not running for your individual documents until you en en enable it. So the way you enable it is you go up to your file menu, you'll see if generator's running, you'll see a generate option and you'll see an image assets um, uh, option, which is unchecked by default. You're gonna go ahead and just highlight it and, and click so that it is checked. So that point, from this point on, it, it, Photoshop will generate image assets from this Photoshop document. So you have to do this on a document by document basis because it's off because not every document you're gonna ever work on is gonna need to generate assets. So we turn it on and have Photoshop monitor the documents that we want it to monitor. Now that Photoshop is monitoring this document, let's go out and look at it in the operating system where I saved it. So I'm just gonna right click and say reveal in Finder That'll show it to me. And as you can see, there's no other folder associated with that particular uh, Photoshop file. It's just a Photoshop file sitting in my hard drive in a folder. And I can now go in and rename it uh, or rename layers in Photoshop to have it generate assets. So here's how it works. These are all different layers. And of course, I could generate assets for each layer individually. But all of these layers make up the look of this. So there's the .com, for example, layer. There's the best app site layer. Uh, there's the Chrome around the uh, shape of the iPhone and the Chrome around the shape of the iPad. Those all make up this entire document. So I put all the layers in a group or folder called best app site icon. Now I'm going to change the name of that group because it makes up the whole thing to what I want generator to make for me. 
So I want generated to make a, the, the highest size icon I need is 152 by 152. So I'm gonna say make it 152 by 152 space apple dash touch dash icon. Here's the important part, dot PNG. They have to be PNG files. And I kind of like the higher quality ones, so I want PNG 24 instead of PNG 8. So now, as soon as I hit enter, and we head back out to the operating system, look, it's made a folder in the same location as your Photoshop document, and it made a folder called Best Icon, Best App, Best App Site Icon Assets, which is the same name as the uh, document, but with dash assets. And inside that folder, there is my new uh, asset that's 152 by 152. That is my first icon. Now, the next ones, the next three, have to be different sizes, but they also have to have different names because, of course, they can't all be called Apple Touch Icon. So, the we're just going to click on the name again, double click, hit the right arrow key to get over to the end, hit a comma that separates the name, and the next size is going to be 120 by 120 space Apple touch icon dot or I'm sorry not dot not yet dash 120 by 120 now why are we repeating the 120 because the first 120 told it to be what told Photoshop to what size to make it the next 120 by 120 is actually just the name of the file so it's going to be 120 by 120 dot png 24 and if I hit enter now we head back out to the operating system I'll have the two icons. I have the first one that's 152 by 152 and the next one is smaller 120 by 120. So there they are bigger and smaller. So now we can now that we know how it works we can just go ahead and make the other two. So the other two are going to be uh, comma space uh, 76 by 76 apple dash touch dash icon make sure you spell it right uh, dash 76 by 76 dot PNG 24 comma space uh, and last but not least 60 by 60 uh, Apple touch icon dash 60 by 60 dot PNG 24 enter so now it's basically going to make all four icons for me the 152 by 152, the 120, the 76, and the 60. And if I look at these, 152, 120, 76, 60. So those are the four, or really the 60 by 60 is the older size, but those are the three or four sizes that Apple requires or looks for when you go to bookmark uh, a new site in iOS 7 or higher on your phone. Now, why use generator? Why not just use save for web? and make them want you know make them and be done with it well now with generator now that I've done the work of renaming that folder generator will keep looking at any changes I make in this uh, document so I can keep designing it and it will make all my icons every time I make a change so for example let's say I grab the um, the blue for the phone and I want a different color someday so I have a purple color selected in my swatches here I'm just gonna hit alt delete or option uh, delete to make that or fill that layer with purple that was it photoshop has now generated all new icons for me there's the first purple one second purple one third purple one fourth purple one so i can keep making changes and photoshop will keep making new icons so if i undo that switch it back to blue guess what they're all blue now it's made all new four icons all over again for me so that's how this works and now let's take a look at how it works on the actual phone. So if we bring the phone back up here, let's go ahead and uh, fire the phone back up. There we go. And we'll bring it back over. We bring the phone back over. And so now let's uh, make it a little smaller here. And so now let's fire up Safari. And we're on the bestappsite.com website. And so now on this website, at the very bottom, I'm going to tap the share icon. And when I tap the share icon, there we go, 
it pops up with the uh, share screen that says let's add uh, to home screen so that third button so when a user any user on, on the web goes to do this on your site they will get the ability to bookmark the site but look at the icon it now has your icon on it and of course they can shorten the name that they want under the icon of course we don't need the long name but they can make it say whatever they want and then when they hit add to add it to the home screen there it is there's our new icon on the home screen just the way we designed it in Photoshop using generator now how did that get from what's in my hard drive in my folder up to the web and make this work well you do have to actually put those icons in your in your um, site folder wherever your website is being hosted so I have uh, just a quick example of what that looks like if we uh, were to use an FTP program and we were to upload those four icons they go in the root level of your website so best app site is actually a WordPress website doesn't matter you, you have FTP access to your website you just put them in the root level of your folder just those four pictures and now when everyone anyone heads to your website and they go to bookmark your site on their iOS devices iPhone iPad iPod touch they're gonna get your icon on their home screen whichever icon you just des you design you want to update it you want to change it go change it in Photoshop have it generate four new icons replace these four with the new ones you just generated and now from that point forward anyone books bookmarks your site or adds it to their home screen they get the web clip they get the new icon that you just created so that's how we use generator to make web clip icons for our websites no matter um, what where your site's being hosted what your site was created with you create it with Muse, whatever you want. As long as you put those four icons in the root level of your folders, you're good to go, and they're going to get that web clip experience that you designed. So that's a quick look at how to do this using Photoshop Generator. Hope you learned something, and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye. Uh -huh.